Hello, it's uh, Jason Har from Roalto, and here I'm on uh, my Shark Cloud, and I'd like just to start sharing with you some of the uses you can use Shark Cloud with regards to visual communication and supporting your overall collaboration approach. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just here on the home page, and I've just created a list of stories in this um, box down here, and I'm just going to click and open it, and. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to just play a presentation within Sharp Cloud. Um, one of the things that um, I'm about to show you is how you play a presentation. At the moment we're in the editing view and you can see all the list of uh, different types of views. I'm not going to show you how to do things at the moment, uh, that comes later on. What's really more important is to understand how you can use Sharp Cloud in what context within your business. And so here I'm just sharing with you some ideas based on projects that I've uh, completed since 2008 when I started using Sharp Cloud. So I'm just going to press this um, button down here called Play Presentation and what will happen is we'll go into a presentation mode so all the toolbars and everything now disappear. So an overview of using Sharp Cloud. So let's have a look. So we're going to first just um, introduce myself. I said I'm Jason Hyre and I'm a Sharp Cloud Expert Associate and I've been using Sharp Cloud now since uh, late 2008, actually a little bit earlier than that. Um, one of the first things I thought I'd do is give you an overview of Sharp Cloud and uh, what you're seeing here is one of the f um, benefits of Sharp Cloud is you can actually include existing PowerPoints and images. So what I'm doing here is I've uploaded images, a PowerPoint presentation and it's within an item which is one of the boxes that you see within Sharp Cloud. So um, I'm just going to click through. So what is Sharp Cloud? Well, Sharp Cloud is a, is, is a private place for you and other colleagues to really collaborate in a visual way together. Um, it's done in an easy way and, and a very productive way. And the key things that you're able to do is to be able to visualize the information, whether this information is about project portfolios or innovation, um, about your products and sales. You can do that, and typically you'll be doing that through spreadsheets and presentations. Um, what we're doing here is we're creating what we call a story. A story is a generic name for um, whatever it is that you're trying to communicate. And remember, we, we can always remember things when we see them and we re remember them when we're told as a story. So we're creating multiple presentations and views. And a real important point for you to note here is that every time the data up changes, any presentations that you have, no matter how many you have within a particular story, they all automatically get updated. So there's no re-editing um, spreadsheets or PowerPoint presentations and then having to email them. That's done automatically for you. So um, one of the next points is communication. As I've just mentioned, uh, we remember things more clearly when they're um, visualized to us. I always give the antidote of the uh, airplane safety card. Uh, there's no words on it because of the different cultures and languages and it's all a visual communication tool. And again, like I said, these are the types of things that you can communicate. Very importantly, uh, part of collaboration is, is a communication. So this really supports your collaboration approach. And you'll see as we go on further into Sharp Cloud how you're able to connect into one-to-ones, into teams, into private directories, and um, really work together in a collaborative visual way so that you can start um, sharing information, asking questions, getting feedbacks and comments, and really connecting people um, quite quickly and easily. So sharing information is key, um, both internally and more importantly as we um, become a lot more global and have partnering, is to share externally. And you can do that very securely. Um, they're data-driven views, so um, you're able to see different perspectives of your information as we see shortly. And you can do that across uh, platforms, um, across multiple uh, browsers, and as we've shown here, across your PCs, your iPad, your tablets, and your mobile devices, such as Android, Blackberry, and iPhones. Another important aspect is a lot of time and effort is sometimes not used productively or wasted within meetings and workshops. So again, you can be using Shark Cloud to work a lot more productively with people where you're separated by time. And this is where you can really lift your video conferencing and teleprints uh, systems, or Skype for that matter, and utilize it um, and make it more productive by using Shark Cloud with your uh, visual collaboration uh, platform. 
Um, and lastly, it's cost effective. Um, there are significant savings uh, with regards to the IT costs, depending which way you want to deploy Sharp Cloud, whether it's in the public cloud, a private cloud, whether you have multiple team sites, enterprise solution. It can be really tailored to, to your needs and to your budgets. And um, more importantly, when you're working and collaborating with people, you can really reduce the time and money with regards to travel uh, for meetings and other conferences, for example. So moving on, here are some of the views. Um, being a visual tool, it, one of the key things is how it is able to take the same data but present it from a different perspective, present it in a different view. And here are some examples. I won't go through all of them in great detail because we'll, we'll see some of that later on. But the list view just orders them. You can have it in ascending or descending by cost, name, or uh, risk whatever attributes you've applied to it. This is the dashboard of the iPad. Here is the wall. This is a free form where you can put post it like post-it notes on the wall, but these items and you can show relationships here. Here's the layer where we have categories on the left hand side. They're automatically sized and organized and we're showing our hierarchical relationship connection connectivity there. A strategic timeline in a bar graph or you can have it just as milestones as cubes. Here's a grid for when you want quick um, decision making, where you want to put the items, the boxes, into specific groups, whether it's cost, benefit, and also you could size them by cost or risk or profit, for example. And here are some of the views with regards to the iPhone in this specific um, example. So we have multiple views, but uh, more importantly, it's able to connect to your multiple portfolios of data. And if you consider the fact that you're uh, going around to different meetings within different functions, whether it's engineering, quality control, IT, business strategy, you have to attend these different types of meetings, get a view and understanding, and somehow as a business leader or manager, is collate these and pull them all together so you get the full picture. Well, within Sharp Cloud, this is one of the key benefits, is that you're able to integrate these portfolios of data so you get a one view of the the, um, of the of the situation and again using the different views you can look at that information from different perspectives so here I've just put the typical types of uh, portfolios of data that might reside within your business and organization um, and it can sit in a spreadsheet on a system in a database or in people's heads but it's pulling that together so that everybody can share and use it in a very collaborative and visual way so here's a, a, a typical example maybe where we have somebody down here at the bottom collating the data manually, um, transcribing it from other systems. You might put it into a spreadsheet or another system and then create a presentation typically using something like PowerPoint for example. Then you would share that via email and distribute it and the whole process is repeated as data is updated or points of view change. Um, obviously what we can do is we can move that into the Sharp Cloud um, environment and we can be linking um, automatically um, through APIs to other data portfolios, to other databases, or we can have links to other resources, whether they're websites, other team sites, SharePoint, for example, and other content that might reside on other file servers. Um, host it here within Sharp Cloud, within your stories, and on here you can also include other metrics such as the characteristics of an item, of, a, of an item, which might be its cost or its risk, the number of resources or percentage completed, along with its outcomes. You know, i.e., if we do this, what is the benefit, and that's totaled up as a score. Then there's the business social aspect of adding comments and liking and disliking and adding other rich media such as videos and images to really enhance your story. And here you can be sharing it um, as a team, um, externally with other people or in other private directories in a very secure way. So just moving on. Here are some typical user applications that you may want to consider. Here we're visualizing and sharing portfolios of data. So this is really useful when you have repetitive presentations to do and you're working in project teams, for example. It could be one-to-one -one discussions where you're just trying to brainstorm um, or think through some problems together. Um, talking about brainstorms, you could have a group uh, brainstorm. Only uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was doing a four-day online workshop. I was based in the UK and uh, the other people involved were based down in, um, in South Africa. So there we were doing uh, um, both an IT strategy and a SWOT analysis. Here you can collaborate with external partners. So again, a lot of um, time is now spent working and outsourcing um, services and products to other organizations around the world. And you can use Sharp Cloud to um, really 
collaborate and improve your um, business collaborative relationships with them. Uh, one of the things we do there is uh, within Sharp Cloud is I've uh, really taken the BS 11,000 standard for collaborative business relationships and visualize the whole process so that you can get accreditation, but more importantly, increase the value of your existing and future business relationships. Expert forums and special interest groups are becoming really um, popular. And again, I've started doing that with a lot of um, organizations that have members overseas and want to interact in a much more um, visual and dynamic way. Company collaboration, um, that's one. Just independent thinking. And here, globally, st global strategy sessions, we have groups of your business around in different locations, but you have the one uh, point of reference or the system of record, which could be sharp clad, looking at your strategy or roadmap that you're working with. And here we have account planning, for example, if you could be yourself uh, working with a client or a, or a supplier and using SharpCloud as the relationship management plan or the account plan or the strategy. And you can work together on that through these meetings and um, workshops. OK, so that's some very quick, brief user applications. So um, here is over about 140 odd um, stories, uh, just typical examples I've created. And we'll just go through them very uh, quickly. Here's some what I call organizational. So it's culture, people, collaboration. And I've done everything from BS 11,000 to online workshops, learning and development, as um, I've discussed previously. Um, the next group that I've put here, or I'm just showing an example here, we have filtering tagging. So I just put pharmaceutical and that showed a technical expert form uh, was one of the stories that we did in that particular sector. Uh, this one here is looking at portfolio, portfolio management, whether it's asset management to innovation to project tracking. So I'm sure you have lots of projects or ideas and putting that into a portfolio whereby you can filter and show the relationships um, would be something of benefit rather than using the spreadsheets and the PowerPoint presentations as mentioned previously. So moving on, we can look at roadmaps. Roadmaps are a great visual tool to show the past, the current and the future and the how, the what and the when and the how. Um, so here are typical roadmaps, usually technology based or product based, but you know, it can be a business um, or, a, or a sustainability uh, roadmap, engineering roadmaps. These are all typical examples that you could use within your business. Um, the next one is sales and marketing. Um, again, um, whether it's from company positioning, so one client, there are multiple locations around the world, they're trying to promote um, their country's um, services and products. And so instead of having multiple presentations of different types, which would be out of sync or not up to date, there is um, just one system of record of a presentation for a particular sector, maybe in life sciences or in the construction or IT or data centers. So no matter where you're located, whether you're in Nagoya to London to New York to um, Buenos Aires, you will always use the latest and most up-to-date presentation, just as I'm showing you now. Um, so that's sales and marketing and strategy stories. Again, uh, business strategies, IT strategies, food and drink, computer validation, um, all manners of uh, strategies that, or business plans that you're trying to do. One of the most um, popular ones is uh, using a strategy map. And this is very uh, another great visual tool for articulating your strategy on one page. Lastly, some tools and templates. Um, we have I have over 50 odd uh, templates in place. Here are just some of them where again you can just go everywhere from um, a, bit, a strategy map as I mentioned before to a SWOT to a PESL. Um, these again are just things that you can be using. Um, so these workshop stories I mentioned, you know, you might be in product testing, proof of concept. Um, you might have, uh, as I said, a Boston Matrix and after action review, the 7S model. Again, these are all ready to be used immediately um, and you can have it online so that you can start working straight away when you're in the, these particular types of meetings. So that's just a very quick overview and hopefully it starts to give you some insights as to how you could use uh, Sharp Cloud. For further details, all you have to do is contact me via my email, via the website telephone and uh, I'll be happy to um, help you. At the end of this video, or at the bottom of this video underneath, there's a link where you can also reach me and just leave me your details, uh, your telephone number and what it is that you're, um, that you're interested in. And uh, what you'll get is a free one hour um, online one-to-one -one review of SharpCloud 
uh, to set you up and get you going quickly. So if you'd like to do that, just please uh, click on the button below, leave your details, and we'll set up a time and date, and we'll really get you going as quickly as we can so you can start putting Sharp Cloud to work in your business. Okay, thanks very much, and I look forward to sharing the next video with you. Thanks.